I'm Armor Chocobo with another Let's Play. For your health and safety, please make sure you wear a helmet, because your head might explode from pure awesomeness. It's a almost going on 1221, which means the world is about to end. And I might as well start off with a game that ended a world of its own. That's right, Mother 3. I hope I could get this video out on like the 20th or something, so it could be in the annals of human history before we're all destroyed that I have done Mother 3. Made by the translation team, McFobby.net. You know what that means? The Nintendo localization team didn't get at it, so we won't miss out on epic things like Naked Ness and Magikent. There he, there he is again. And those are new guys. They replaced Ape. And they're also familiar. Hello, Hal. How you doing, Hal? Hal worked together with Brownie Brown to make this. Mother 3. Merry Christmas, YouTube! I brought you Mother 3! I hope you're happy. What do you mean you're not happy? What do you mean it looks like a bad shop class presentation? It's supposed to look like that. For some reason. This was made for the Game Boy Advance in 2006, and it only came out in Japan. Why? Nintendo of America are a bunch of jerks. They don't like Earthbound fans, apparently, even though they put Earthbound and Mother 3 references all over Super Smash Brothers and all the other games. I bet the last game you were doing that one stage where it's all Mother 3 stuff, and people were going like, what the heck is this? This is why. This is what the heck it is. It's Mother 3. Let's start already. Yes, it's a sound player, if you want to hear the music without playing the game. But why? Play the game, it's fun! I'm playing the game right now! Check it out, we get to name our protagonists again, and a whole bunch of other important people too. They've expanded. As usual, I'm gonna use the canon name whenever I can. And as you can tell, I can't switch through the names like I did before. It's only Lucas. It's the only thing you get when you don't care. He's the younger twin brother. And the older twin brother is Klaus. They're anagrams of each other, because they're kind of polar opposites. Yeah, Klaus is a little bit brave, and Lucas, well, you'll see how he's like. Okay, go. And also, that Chuck Norris guy looking in the background there. The Walker Texas Ranger looking guy? Flint! He looks like he's gonna be important to the story. Check it out. He's named after something that makes fire. Everything that makes fire is awesome. Okay, go. And the mother, Hinawa. As a note, you could tell that uh, Etoy's back asking if it's, it's okay, like in uh, Earthbound. They just copy and pasted it, it's the same exact soundtrack. And also, most of the names, uh, the translation team kept them canon. They didn't really change much of the names at all. They did change a few so they made sense in the English language. Of course, Boney is here too, the family dog. What does this family like to eat? Let's see. They like omelets! There's other foods. This is when adult care actually starts working. There's pasta, gratin, donuts, maybe gelatin. Rice? Nah. You know what omelets? They call it omelet. They call it an omelet. There's only one. You don't eat many omelets, you'll get cholesterol poisoning. You know what? This family now likes greens. This is what I'm uh, starting to personalize here. This whole family likes greens now. They wish they were me. And our favorite thing! What is this family's favorite thing? Ah, that's nice. What else? There's a home run! That ain't an Earthbound reference, of course. And I don't understand that one. Or that one. Or that one! They have some weird favorite things here. I thought they would be like drawing, or uh, skateboarding, or gaming. Gaming isn't here. That could have been photography, but they didn't have the space. Now that's it. It could be farmers. But no, their favorite thing now it is my favorite thing. And it will fit. I've tried it. Yes, it's a. Uh, it's Ah Mulana. No. It's a capital L in there. Yes, it's gonna be La Mulana. I wish it didn't take so long to type with a controller, but it does. I'm sorry about this. La Mulana. That means we'll be able to call on Zelpa's help when we get stuck. Okay, Scott. All right, they're off to go play Lamalana while we finish up the intro section of this game. 
Like, changing the text speeds are fast, because they changed around a few things in the text. And also, I'm gonna pick something that's not plain. I picked plain in, uh, Earthbound. Let's go with Peanut. It's a little bit less grating on the eyes than anything else. Yeah. I could go with Mint, too, but... I hope nobody has a peanut allergy. I hope nobody gets the hives from this video, because I feel sad. Alright. Here's our setup. It's time to play Mother 3. Where will this adventure take place? Will it be Eagle Land again? Maybe in the year 2000X? Yeah, they got themselves trapped again. I feel welcome, by the way! Check out the awesome music! Epic adventure music for an epic adventure involving this tiny little island. It was under the A in Atlantic. You know, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs? That island was under the A in Atlantic? Nowhere Islands is under the other A in Atlantic. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of A's in that game. It's somewhere around there. It's even more than Uncharted because it has little podunk urban, or rural towns, not urban. Nowhere Islands is, like, the polar opposite of Urban. It's a farming village. And that's Tasmilly Village. And a forest, just in the north of it. We'll see that name shortly. But check it out, there's trees. Boney must go nuts when he's taken for walks. Look at all those trees. Sunshine Forest! And farther than that, there's a desert mountainous looking area. I wonder why we're going so far away from Tasmili Village. Not even Ness lived this far away. It was here. It's the home of Alec. And Noah's father, so that makes uh, Lucas's and Klaus's uh, grandfather. Hello. And all these protagonists, they have to be so lazy. Always sleeping. Always dreaming that they would be in an adventure of their own. Sorry, Klaus. Lucas is busy being a protagonist now. You'll have to come back later. Come on, get up, Lucas. Your brother's calling you. There's Dragos! We want to play with the Dragos, right? They sound dangerous. I don't think you should play with the Dragos. Uh, what does your mother have to say about all this? Alright. Yes, the talk of Dragos gets Lucas going in the morning. Check out the bedhead. And the pajamas that remind me of some other protagonist from a mother-style game. And also this house reminds me a lot of Pokemon. They have the stairs right here, and the mother's always sitting right there. Always! But you're out. I can't. Hey, I'm gonna go outside and play with Dragos now. Can I do that? Yes, Klaus gets to do it. I get to do it. Come on. Okay. Um... You're, you're a nice mother and all that, and you're very kind and nice, but no. I want to play with the Dracos in my pajamas. Oh, she's cold and heartless. Alright. Yeah, I'll, I'll try leaving again. Maybe I could sneak out. Alright, alright, I'll change my clothes. Ah! Alright. That looks a lot better. Of course, Lucas has about the same level of fashion sense as Ness does. Maybe he's a descendant of some sort. At least his hair is better. Yes, thank you. Can I go can I go play with giant lizard things? I think they're giant lizard things, so they're called Dragos. And it's another beautiful day at Alex's house. Or Alec. Alex? I, I don't care. Yay! We're outside having fun. Video games? What's that? Yes, this is what I do. This is how I occupy my time. I chase the chickens! And then talk to them. Because the animals talk back. They're my only friends besides Klaus. Come here, chicken. I want to talk to you. I want to talk at you. Get over here. And now he's going to chide me for staying up late. You're the worst chicken ever. Get out of here. Hey, pig. I'm just going to stand behind you as I talk to you. That's what I do. Really? What are you saying that's creeping this other pig out? I don't understand. How does that creep you out? Are you negative, Mr. Pig? Do you need me to stand behind you some more? Well, fine. I'll talk to the cow instead. Yes, they do. They all say moo. And the pigs say oink! And the chickens say, hey, stop chasing me. Hey, Alec, all your animals can talk here. It's like Animal Farm. 
Oh, we're heading home today. Our visit to Grandpa is over with. I'm gonna miss them too. Alright, let's find these Dragos. I think they're down this way. That's my hunch. Oh, hey, Ants! Do you want to talk to me too? No, it's uh, Nintendo saying, hey, don't go that way, it's dangerous. You might trip over an ant. So let's not go that way. Let's go this way. Oh, hey, Frog! Let's talk to frogs! Oh. Uh, this, this frog has a, a part-time job at some kind of self-help seminar. This week's topic is memories. Oh, really? Well, that, is that a hint that I should save my game? Yes, that's what the kids are calling it now. Instead of remembering, they call it saving. Yes, I will save my game. Why not? You will ignore what's going on in the screen. Yes, you saw nothing. There are no spoilers on that screen at all. Alright, time to find Klaus. I hope he isn't getting eaten. Whoa, Klaus! You're so strong! Hey, wait a minute. This is all a ruse! Klaus, how could you? He's been play fighting with the Dragos all morning. Is that what you call it now? Is this some kind of training? So you can be as strong as Flint? I bet Flint's some kind of badass. Sure! I'll train too! We're gonna have to run into a Drago. That's just like walking into them, like the chicken, right? We don't know how to ram! So here's Alec to show us how. And this is best fourth wall breaking ever. This and Hideo Kojima get it right. Alright, I'm imagining that B button. Uh, when I imagine a B button, I imagine a button that you press and it shoots bees. That's uh, not the right B button. Can you tell me in layman's terms how to B button dash? Alright, Klaus, how about you give him an example of how to B button dash? That's how we do it! That's how you imagine a B button, by running into a giant lizard. Sure, I'll do it. But do I really have to torment this... Uh... Well, he's not so friendly looking, but I guess they are friendly since they're playing. I'm gonna practice on Grandpa first. Yeah! Take that. Ah. Lucas is such a wimp. You! Klaus! You're my size, I should be able to tackle you easily. No, actually not. Klaus gets his guts from the Flint side of the family. Me, I get it from Hinawa's side. Uh, you know what? I don't feel like ramming Dragos right now. I feel like looking over here. There's more than three Dragos on this screen. There's like six. Ah, oh, baby Drago. Hello, how are you doing today? Can I run into you? I'm gonna run into you now. Okay, she doesn't like that. She doesn't want to play. Hello. Why are you walking around in circles, by the way? Is that what they do? Alright, fine. They're circle dragons. Alright, might as well run into the Mama Drago. Yeah! I did it! I'm the strongest person ever. You know, I wonder what happens if you ram her from the side. Will she fall the other way? She'll fall the baby Drago. I want that to happen. Yeah! What have I done? Ow! Oh. She was supposed to fall the other way! Ow! Grandpa, she fell the other way, that doesn't work. Yes, I hope there's something called leveling up, and I hope I do a lot of it, so I become really, really strong, and... I don't know, beat up Dragos. Because they fell on me. I'm traumatized now. Who is speaking? Oh, cockroach. That's a cockroach. Even the Dragos are like, what the hell are you doing here? Mole Cricket sounds like a person that would be great at parties. By that, I mean no. He's a braggart, and we're going to destroy him by getting the can of raid. Or getting into a battle. Just like in Earthbound, the battles are kind of the same. 
We got guard, we got goods. We got other things we can do, but not just yet. And the bash is a musical note. Why? Every character has their own instrument when they fight. Every character we control will have an instrument. Like Klaus, that was a sitar. And Lucas will sound like a keytar. Yes, yeah, so if you don't know what a keytar is, look it up on the Google machine. Also, well, I wonder if I could pull off something else. There's something else that's new to these battles. I'm trying to pull it off. Here we go! Did you see that? Combo attacks! We could bash several times in a row if we follow the rhythm of the music. The game will get into that later on. But we crushed, um... Mole Cricket. Man, he was weak. He got beat up by a bunch of kids, and the Dragos just looked at him condescendingly. And he's gonna invite us to the stadium so we can beat up on him some more. Yeah, I'll look forward to that. Bro. What's with bro? Bro is so 1990s. Or at least 2000. I don't care. Hey mom, what are you doing? Mole Cricket got owned by Hinawa. That's great. Hinawa's now my favorite character for stepping on that jerk. Yay, greens! Hey, Dragos, you want some greens too? Well, Alex's gonna get some. Huh? Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare, don't. Ah! He's breaking the fourth wall. Alec, why don't you do something like, imagine there's an A button. That's how you save. No. Instead, he's just gotta tell us directly. Talk to frogs. That's how we save. Save as often as we can, because there's lots of frogs in the game, and... Just like Earthbound, if you die, you'll go back to the last frog you saved, I believe. I don't think there's checkpoints, so make sure you save often. No, Grandpa, we didn't save you any greens. You were busy breaking the fourth wall. Shortly after the greens? Let his family sit down with our father missing. Where has he gone to? She didn't say anything. Alec is gonna put his hand on each of the kids' shoulders and go, Uh, kids? She's dancing with Prince Valium right now, so. Huh. <sighs> the kids like to annoy their mother when she's having her happy time. Or maybe she's not. She started talking again. We're gonna have to go through the forest to get back. But it shouldn't take that long, should it? Yeah, they don't have cars in Tasmilly Village. They gotta walk. The kids can make it. They beat up a cockroach earlier today. Hey! He burned Lucas there. That was, a, that was so rude it made Hinawa leave. Well, wow, Alec, that was a jerk move. And now Hinawa, outside, she's gonna write a letter to Flint. Cause he ain't here. He's busy doing Flint things. Like wrestling a bear with his bare hands, or bench pressing a Drago. He can do that. He's awesome. He can tell the personalities of Klaus and Lucas a little bit here. Klaus is adventurous, and Lu Lucas, he... he he clings a little bit too much. Ah. Uh, Alec missed him. He didn't see them for a whole year. Or maybe even more. And the Lucas family are sheep farmers. Check it out. They farm sheep. In the land of rural America, or rural Tasmili, you gotta make your own wool. But at least we'll get more greens! Greens morning, noon, and night! That's all Hinawa knows how to make, but that's good enough for me. Hinawa, do you want to take on one more in your family? Yes, I'm covered with feathers, but that doesn't mean I can't be a family member too. See, you got a bird. You have room for one more bird. Uh, the music sounds a little strange. What's going on? Is the circus in town? The flying circus? Wait, is there such a thing as a flying circus? That wasn't being ominous just then. 
Neither is this. For those of you who have forgotten what we're playing, Leather 3. Let the epic music swell. Something tells me this music is going to be the theme of the whole game. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've suddenly become psychic again. I don't know how. This little psychic powers in Mother 3. It's about music and family and love. Right? I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. Hey, check out the idyllic mountain view here. And that was an elder lo oak. It exploded. There's a few more. They're having a party. It's the blasting their music and blasting themselves. Keep it down! People are trying to sleep. Get inside, son. They're having a party out here. The Elder Oaks have gone wild. Is it Elder Oaks? I don't think they're in this game. It certainly ain't usual because it's frightening all the animals away. Hey, what the heck? Pink Stormtroopers! The space balls are attacking! They want to steal your air, and they'll do it in any means necessary, like starting fires. That's not town amount to stealing air. It just wastes it. Great. The space balls are attacking. That's my assumption of what they are. I don't remember them wearing stormtrooper helmets, though. And here's the world's only fireman in Tazmilly Village. He doesn't even fight fires, he just runs around with the siren. We saw a lot of pivotal characters just then, too. Oh, that's ominous and creepy. Something tells me we're not gonna have fun in this first chapter. Someone is going to die. And that someone is gonna be one of those stormtrooper looking guys. Flint! We need you! You are the Tasmili Ranger! There's a fire everywhere, it's burning things, we don't like that. Wow, that's, that's some fire. Come on, Flint, open up! I just tip my hat, and we're off! When Flint tips his hat, he becomes awesome mode. He's gonna do that a lot. Why don't we take some of this firewood? You know, Blunt's objects are, uh, mother protagonists for today, you know? Yeah, there's nothing here. Alright, alright, I'm coming! I'm standing right on the other end of the door. I, I can hear you. Just let me get the locks undone. Yes, you said that before. I'm having problems with the locks. Can you jiggle it from your end? Yeah, like that. But you jiggled it a bit too much. Thomas, you're going to pay for that now. Yeah, you broke it. I know you lost it. You're gonna have to pay for it twice. Stand here, I'm gonna punch you in the face. And my name is not Doorknob! It's a huge fire! you said this at least three times already, and I heard the siren. I'm just a little slow. We need a reckless nice guy, like Flint! Um, I'm not gonna let you tell Flint what to do. Hey, what the heck? Um, we just got taken prisoner by Thomas. Uh, this is not how you take prisoner. Uh, that's a creepy happy you have there, Tony. Thomas. I almost said Tony. I wonder if they're related in some way. Uh, Alright, we got Thomas. Hey, Boney, you want to come along too? Nobody is withholding it, uh, stuff from Flint. Thank good. I got a stick now! It'll make a good weapon, because, you know, blunt weapons, as I said before. They're great. Uh, what? Caramels aren't useful! They get stuck to the roof of your mouth. Then they get annoying. Alright, let's equip that stick. Stick! And an ordinary hat. That's all Flint needs to destroy everything. Might as well take a save. I mean, the town's on fire. I might as well save as Tasmillion Village burns. Because I'm the Mother 3 Nero. And I got rid of all of my old saves. Alright, I'll do that. Alright, next time on Mother 3, 
There's a fire! There's fire everywhere! It burns! It's not good for the rural community. And also, there's a Charlie Brown-looking guy here. I remember Chocobo! Good night.